right, fish lots. Now I just had a great day of tuna fishing and you have an entire 50 gallon cooler filled with your delicious, delicious tuna. Look at all that, that's one bag. I got five bags of these in here. But it's not time to start cutting these up yet. Let me show you how to prepare this in order to cut these up into steaks before you eat it. This is a very common mistake that folks make and I'm gonna show you how to avoid some pitfalls here. Super, super easy, just using some paper towels. All right, and so what you wanna do is you wanna grab yourself some paper towels here, right? And really what we're gonna do is we're going to drain the blood out of the quarters of the tuna. And so what happens is, is what people will do, they get the tuna home and they wanna cut it up into steaks and they wanna eat it right away, but there's still a ton of blood in that tuna. Yes, we bled the tuna. Yes, we put the tuna on ice, but there's still a lot of blood in that meat and you want to get it out. And what I recommend here is lint-free paper towels, okay? You don't want lint getting all over your fish. You don't want to be eating lint. And so my recommendation here is Bounty. Bounty makes some really good paper towels that are lint-free. So you could use any brand, just make sure they're lint-free. All right, and here's our first giant chunk of yellowfin steak right there. And that is just an awesome piece of fish. So now let's bring it over here to the table. I'm gonna lay it right down in the cookie sheet. And now I'm just gonna cover it. So you can already see some of the blood on there. Look at that, it's soaking right through already. The blood is on there. You just wanna cover it so all the blood gets soaked up and that'll be fine right there. And of course, with this amount of tuna like this, you're gonna need more than one baking sheet. So, you know, I hope you have a lot of baking sheets and I hope you have a lot of paper towels, just something to prepare for when you are preparing your tuna for the next day is cutting and staking and consumption, hopefully, is, you know, make sure you have enough baking sheets, make sure you have room in the freezer. This is a lot, a lot of fish. And there you go, see all that blood? The blood's already starting to soak through all the paper towels. That's perfect, that's exactly what you want. The blood soaking through the paper towels, you wanna to absorb all that blood so that you can cut it in the morning and you're gonna have delicious tuna steaks when you're ready to eat them. And let me show you something else here. So the whole reason why we're doing this is to get a lot of that blood right there out of the tuna. You can see it's still very bloody, but this meat is still very soft. And so what'll happen is when you get the blood out and you put it overnight in something very cool like your refrigerator or on ice, this meat will firm up and that'll be perfect for cutting steaks when you're ready to eventually steak the tuna, use it for sashimi or whatever you're looking to do with it. And this is a good reason why you should prepare for your tuna trips and clean out your refrigerator. This is gonna be two. That's so heavy. I don't even know if this is gonna fit in here. And all right, so we'll give this the night and we'll start cutting it up tomorrow morning. And all right, fish lots, it's the next day and let's see how our tuna came out. There we go. Now you can see already all that blood that came through those paper towels. That's perfect, that's exactly what you want. You can see a lot of blood in there. All right, let's take one out and see, see what we got. There we go, that paper towel peels right off, no lint. All right, now let's take a look at this meat right here. This is perfect. This is exactly what you want right here. Look at that, that is perfect sushi grade meat. And this is firm, as you can tell, much firmer than it was before. And this is exactly what you want in order to make your steaks. This way, when you cut your steaks, and you're gonna see right here in a minute, it's gonna come out just absolutely perfect. You're not gonna tear the meat. You're not gonna pull on the meat. It's just gonna cut super well. Now, the first thing to go here, and I'm just gonna show you, is this black right here. This is the lateral line. This is no good. This is just nasty meat. But take a look at this. Basically what happens is, since we did what we did and we froze it, look at that. You could basically just peel this right off with your finger. Now, if you didn't do this, what would happen is, is you would try to cut it, but you would pull all the tuna meat with it. Now look at look at that, that is perfect. I almost don't need a knife. Look at that, it comes right out, and that is just the lateral line right there. And that is just nasty, gross meat right there. And all right guys, here's another look. I mean, look at all that blood that was captured by these paper towels. That is just perfect. Look at all that, we get rid of all that nastiness. Now we have a nice, Beautiful, firm piece of tuna. Look, it peels right off. The no lint paper towels is where it's at. That is really what you need or else, you know, you'd have white stuff all over this. You'd have lint all over it. It would just be really gross. You don't want to eat lint and stuff. That's like, 
eating things out of your dryer. But look at that, peels right off. No issues whatsoever. And now this is a nice firm tuna quarter into which we can now stake up, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. And so firming up these tuna quarters is only one part of the equation. Now that it's nice and firm, check on this video right here where I show you how to make the absolute most perfect tuna steaks as well as delicious, delicious sashimi. So go ahead and check that out, Fish Lots, and I'll see you out there on the water.